Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the E0 and the E4 error codes. We'll take a look at what these mean, some reasons why it may have occurred, and of course, some ways to fix it. In a nutshell, the E0 and E4 error code means that the indoor unit and the controller can't talk to each other. Since both devices use serial communication, if one of them can't receive or send a signal, it'll end up going off on the error. The E0 specifies that the wall controller cannot receive data from the indoor unit, while the E4 means that the indoor unit can't receive data from the wall controller. Before I begin troubleshooting, I always want to make an assessment of the system. The thing I'm looking for is, how old is the equipment? Is this a system that's been in for years and running properly? Or is this a brand new install? Let's break down the problems based off of the two previous scenarios, new versus old. Some of the more common problems that we run across with new installations would be wire size selection, wiring methods, and dip switch settings. For wire size selection, we recommend a 22 gauge wire. You'll want to make sure that the wire is not run alongside any other electrical wires or in a metal conduit. If you do happen to have this, you may want to use a shielded wire, which will prevent noise from entering into the cable. Another common issue we run into is whenever a system requires either multiple outdoor units, multiple indoor units, or even multiple controllers. When this happens, you'll need to pay extra attention to wire selection, dip switch settings, and address settings. If the errors occur on a system that's been functioning properly for numerous years, we can already cross some of the things off the list, such things as setting errors, addresses, or dip switch settings. On the existing system, I tend to pay close attention to the actual wire. I want to see if this wire has become shorted or grounded. If the wire tests out fine, then there still could be an issue with either the control board or the controller in which case replacement may be necessary. For additional information and service manuals, please feel free to visit www.mylinkdrive.com. If there's any topics you would like to see discussed in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of Tech Tips and Homeowner Help.